Tom Selleck, who is well known for his roles in iconic television shows such as Magnum P.I. and Blue Bloods, has been praised for his charisma and enduring talent for a very long time. On the other hand, beneath the surface of his public persona is a succession of difficult and heartbreaking aspects about his life that show a more nuanced and interconnected reality. Over the past few years, Selleck has found himself confronted with a number of personal and health-related issues. He has been struggling with a health ailment that has been affecting his capacity to work as vigorously as he once did. This has been one of the most major issues that he has been dealing with. As someone who has always been known for his commanding presence on television, Selleck has had to manage the challenges of controlling his health while simultaneously preserving his job and public image. Will he be able to maintain a healthy equilibrium between his professional and personal life, or will the continuing challenges cause him to take a different road in Hollywood? We are going to go into the heartbreaking aspects of Tom Selleck's life, specifically his early life. Martha Selleck, a homemaker, and Robert Dean Selleck, an executive and real estate investor, were the parents of Thomas William Selleck, who was born on January 29, 1945, in Detroit, Michigan. Thomas William Selleck was named after his father. Among the four children in the family, Selleck was the youngest of the four. He had an older brother named Robert, a younger sister named Martha, and a younger brother named Daniel. The majority of the Selleck family is of English lineage, but there is also some German ancestry in the family. Sherman Oaks is a suburb located in the San Fernando Valley District of Los Angeles, California. Selleck's family relocated there in 1948, when he was just three years old. The family moved to a community that would provide numerous opportunity for Selleck to pursue a career in the entertainment industry in the future. This move marked the beginning of Selleck's quest towards stardom. During his high school years, Selleck received his diploma from Grant High School, which is located in Van Nuys, California. Following his graduation from high school, he went on to enroll in Los Angeles Valley College. During this time, Selleck was concentrating on his academic and athletic endeavors while he was living at home and saving money. The fact that he was exceptionally athletic and stood at an amazing height of 6 feet 4 inches would prove to be a defining characteristic throughout his acting career. During his time at LAVC, he demonstrated a natural knack for sports by participating in basketball. His athletic abilities and his muscular presence on the court drew the attention of coaches, which resulted in his transferring to the University of Southern California on a basketball scholarship during his junior year of high school. He further developed his physical prowess and discipline by playing for the USC Trojans men's basketball team while he was a student at the University of Southern California. Tom Selleck continued to develop his athletic ability while he was a student at the University of Southern California. He became a member of the USC baseball team, where he played not just basketball but also as a pitcher and designated hitter. Throughout his athletic career, he displayed a wide range of physical abilities and a fiercely competitive mentality. Selleck was an active member of the Sigma Chi fraternity, which is well known for its social, philanthropy, and leadership activities on college campuses. In addition to his interest in athletics, he was associated with the Sigma Chi fraternity. He was also a member of the Trojan Knights, which is a distinguished service group at the University of Southern California that is known for sustaining the traditions and ethos of the university. At first, Selleck was pursuing a degree in business administration at the University of Southern California. However, when a theater coach suggested that he attempt acting, his career path took a dramatic turn for the better. A new prospective career path was brought to Selleck's attention as a result of the idea, which had a transforming effect. He was so captivated by the opportunities that he made the decision to investigate the world of acting with greater seriousness. By the time he was a senior at USC, Selleck had made the courageous decision to leave school in order to pursue acting on a full-time basis. He went from having a typical corporate profession to having a career in the entertainment industry as a result of this decision, which represented a significant turning point in his life. After that, Selleck started an acting training program at the Beverly Hills Playhouse, which is a well-known acting school that was established by Milton Katzelis. Katzelis was a well-respected director and acting coach who had a substantial impact on the careers of a great number of professional actors. Selleck was able to refine his craft and develop the talents that would eventually come to define his acting style, thanks to Katzelis' encouragement and direction. As soon as he began obtaining roles in commercials, television series, and movies, it was clear that his commitment to studying the nuances of acting was paying off. 
On the other hand, Selleck's acting career was put on hold when he was drafted into the military during the Vietnam War for military service. Selleck made the decision to join the California Army National Guard rather than wait to be recruited into the military, attained the rank of sergeant while serving in the California Army National Guard's Company C, 1st Battalion, 160 Infantry Regiment from 1967 until 1973. During that time, he was a member of the regiment. His character gained a layer of discipline and resilience as a result of this experience, qualities that would subsequently be reflected in a number of the parts he would play within the film industry. In addition to having a significant impact on Selleck's personal life, his time spent serving in the National Guard was instrumental in the development of a feeling of duty and patriotism that has remained with him throughout his career. The fact that he served in the military has frequently been a source of pride for him, and he has shown his admiration for the armed forces in public statements. It is quite possible that the abilities and discipline he gained while serving in the military were a contributing factor in the great work ethic and professionalism he displayed throughout his acting career. Selleck embarked on his acting career with a newfound sense of ambition after completing his military service. Career with the Actors When Tom Selleck was a senior in college, he made his debut on the television show The Dating Game in 1965. This was his first experience with television fame. When he went back to the in 1967, he was able to obtain early exposure to audiences across the country. These appearances helped Selleck become more comfortable in front of the camera and provided him with significant early experience in the entertainment industry. Despite the fact that he did not win either of the competitions, he was able to gain valuable knowledge. As a result of his appearances on television, he began to garner attention for his towering, rugged good looks and magnetic presence, which ultimately led to opportunities for him in the field of commercial work. Selleck rose to prominence on television in a short amount of time by appearing in a number of advertisements for a variety of well-known businesses. He was able to increase his presence in the entertainment industry by appearing in a commercial for Pepsi-Cola, which helped him get exposure. In addition, he became the ambassador for Salem Cigarettes and Revlon's Chaz Cologne, which further solidified his reputation as a well-groomed, all-American leading man. His work in commercials included Right Guard Deodorant in 1971 and Safeguard Deodorant Soap in 1972, demonstrating his versatility and broad appeal to advertisers. His commercial work also included Right Guard Deodorant. A notable ad for Dubonnet, an aperitif, was released in 1972, and it featured him in a role with the legendary actress Farrah Fawcett. The commercial highlighted his charisma and screen presence. Another notable commercial appearance that he made was in 1977, when he was featured in an advertisement for close-up toothpaste on television. These ads played a significant role in the development of Selleck's early career, assisting him in establishing a public character that was easily recognizable. In addition to his work in advertisements, Selleck started appearing in less significant roles in films that were of a lesser scale. His early cinematic credits included appearances in the films Myra Breckenridge, 1970, Coma, 1978, and The Seven Minutes, 1971, among others. An important incident from his early career is that he was welcomed to the set of Myra Breckenridge by the great Mae West. This event formed a significant part of his career. Even though these roles were very minor, they provided Selleck with the opportunity to get experience working on a film set and to learn from more seasoned performers. Selleck also made appearances in a number of television programs, miniseries, and movies that were developed specifically for television during this time period. Being cast in guest appearances on a number of different shows allowed him to build his portfolio while simultaneously getting experience and exposure. In the film Daughters of Satan, which was released in 1972, he played a character who was an art specialist who became involved in a supernatural plot that involved witchcraft and possession. This was one of his most prominent early performances. It was a picture that displayed Selleck's ability to take on a variety of roles across a variety of genres, despite the fact that it did not reach considerable success. During the 1970s, Selleck's recurring role as private detective Lance White on The Rockford Files was a pivotal moment in his early television career. This experience marked a key turning point in his career. 
James Garner, who played the title character Jim Rockford, was the star of the popular and critically acclaimed detective series The Rockford Files by the same name. In contrast to Rockford's cynical and street-smart attitude, Selleck's character Lance White was a charming, innocent, and too idealistic detective. He functioned as a counterbalance for Rockford's character at the same time. Selleck's depiction of Lance White became a fan favorite, despite the fact that he was very inexperienced at the time. This was due to the fact that it demonstrated his comedic timing and displayed his ability to play off of more seasoned performers such as Garner. The moment that Tom Selleck was cast as the main character, Thomas Magnum, in the critically acclaimed television series Magnum, Private Investigator, was a watershed moment in his career. Through his performance in this part, Selleck would go on to establish himself as a leading man in Hollywood, becoming one of the most iconic roles of his career. Magnum P.I. premiered in 1980 and quickly became a favorite among television audiences, thanks to its blend of action, drama, and humor, as well as Selleck's charismatic performance. The opportunity to play Thomas Magnum came after Selleck had already filmed six other TV pilots that were never sold. The role of Magnum was a defining moment for him, providing the platform he needed to break through as a major television star. Thomas Magnum was portrayed as a former U.S. Navy SEAL officer who had served in the Vietnam War. After his military service, Magnum worked in Naval Intelligence, a fictionalized version of the real Office of Naval Intelligence, before resigning to pursue a career as a private investigator in Hawaii. The show combined elements of a crime drama with character-driven storytelling, featuring the lush backdrop of Hawaii as a unique setting. Magnum P.I. was created by Donald P. Belisario and Glenn A. Larson, both of whom were known for creating compelling and successful television series. The show blended elements of detective fiction with light-hearted humor, featuring memorable recurring characters and storylines that addressed a variety of issues, from the lingering effects of the Vietnam War to Magnum's struggles. Selleck's portrayal of Magnum with his easygoing charm, signature mustache, Hawaiian shirts, and distinctive red Ferrari 308 GTS became a cultural touchstone of the 80s. The success of Magnum P.I. was nearly derailed, however, by another opportunity that came along at the same time. While Selleck was in negotiations for Magnum P.I., he was also considered for the lead role of Indiana Jones in Steven Spielberg's Raiders of the Lost Ark. The role of Indiana Jones, an adventurous archaeologist, was highly coveted and would later become one of the most iconic characters in film history. However, the producers of Magnum P.I. would not release Selleck from his contractual obligations, forcing him to turn down the role of Indiana Jones. Consequently, the role went to Harrison Ford, who became forever associated with the character. Interestingly, the decision to keep Selleck tied to Magnum P.I. led to an unexpected twist of fate. The production of Magnum P.I. was delayed for over six months due to a writer's strike, which meant that Selleck could have completed filming for Raiders of the Lost Ark had the strike occurred earlier or the production schedules had been different. This scheduling conflict became a significant what-if moment in Selleck's career, as many have speculated how his career trajectory might have changed had he taken on the role of Indiana Jones. Despite missing out on the chance to play Indiana Jones, Selleck's portrayal of Thomas Magnum proved to be a defining role in his career. Magnum P.I. aired for eight successful seasons from 1980 to 1988, producing 163 episodes. The show was a critical and commercial success, earning Selleck a devoted fan base and solidifying his status as a major television star of the 80s. His performance was widely praised, and in 1984, Selleck won the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series for his role as Thomas Magnum. Selleck's character Thomas Magnum was notable for his complexity and relatability. Unlike many traditional TV detectives of the era, Magnum was portrayed as a flawed and human character. He was a charming and sometimes mischievous private investigator who used his military training and intelligence background to solve crimes, but he was also shown dealing with personal conflicts, ethical dilemmas, and the emotional scars of his Vietnam War experience. The character's relatability and depth made him stand out in the landscape of television heroes. 
The show also benefited from a strong supporting cast, including John Hillerman as Jonathan Quayle Higgins III, a British ex-soldier and the major domo of the estate where Magnum lived, which was owned by the unseen character Robin Masters. Hillerman's portrayal of Higgins provided a perfect counterbalance to Magnum's laid-back style, leading to some of the show's best comedic and dramatic moments. The chemistry between Selleck and Hillerman, along with co-stars Roger E. Mosley as helicopter pilot T.C. and Larry Minetti as club owner Rick, helped to create a dynamic and engaging ensemble that contributed significantly to the show's popularity. Beyond its entertainment value, Magnum P.I. also touched on more serious themes, such as the Vietnam War and its aftermath, particularly through the lens of Magnum and his friends, many of whom were also veterans. This provided a contemporary reflection of American society in the 80s, dealing with issues such as honor, loyalty, and the effects of war on those who served. By the time Magnum P.I. ended in 1988, Selleck had become one of television's most recognizable stars. His portrayal of Thomas Magnum remains one of his most beloved roles, and the series itself has left a lasting legacy in television history. The role opened up numerous opportunities for Selleck in film and television, establishing him as a versatile actor capable of both action and comedy and paving the way for a long and successful career in Hollywood. Tom Selleck's career continued to thrive in the early 2000s, with significant roles in westerns, a Broadway revival, and even a musical debut. In 2001, Selleck took a significant step in his career by appearing on Broadway in a revival of Herb Gardner's comedic play, A Thousand Clowns. This production marked Selleck's Broadway debut and featured him in the lead role of Murray Burns, a nonconformist, unemployed television writer who is unconventionally raising his nephew. The character of Murray Burns is a challenging one, requiring a balance of humor, cynicism, and warmth. The role had previously been made famous by Jason Robards, who won a Tony Award for his portrayal on stage and later appeared in the 1965 film Adaptation. The revival of A Thousand Clowns was directed by John Rando and opened at the Longacre Theater on July 11, 2001 after a four-month tour that included stops in North Carolina, Chicago, and Boston. Critics were divided on Selleck's performance. Some noted that Selleck brought a likable, easygoing charm to the role, while others felt he struggled to capture the depth and complexity that Robards had famously embodied. The New York Times Review pointed out that while Selleck was personable and sturdy, he did not quite reach the nuanced portrayal needed for the character. This comparison to Robards' legendary performance was almost inevitable given Robards' iconic status in theater history. However, Selleck's performance was far from uniformly criticized and some reviewers appreciated his effort to branch out from his well-known roles in television and film. Unfortunately, the revival of A Thousand Clowns closed prematurely after the tragic events of September 11, 2001, which had a devastating impact on Broadway and the performing arts in general. The production's closure was one of many during a difficult period for New York City, and while the show did not achieve the longevity that might have been hoped for, it marked an important chapter in Selleck's career as he embraced the challenge of live theater. In 2021, Selleck made a surprising entry into the world of music with his album debut on Nicholas King's album Act One, released by Club 44 Records. The track Yes Sir, That's My Baby was recorded live during their run of A Thousand Clowns back in 2001. The album, which featured a variety of Broadway and jazz standards, gave Selleck an unexpected platform to showcase his vocal talent. Though Selleck is not primarily known as a singer, his contribution to King's album was well received, particularly by fans who appreciated hearing a new side of the seasoned actor. Selleck's personal life has often been in the spotlight thanks not only to his successful career, but also to his relationships. Tom Selleck was first married to model Jacqueline Ray from 1971 to 1982. During their marriage, Selleck adopted her son, Kevin Shepard, who was born in 1966. Kevin would later go on to become the drummer for the American rock band Tonic. During the early years of his career, Selleck was balancing his rising fame with family responsibilities. His relationship with Jacqueline Ray was kept relatively private, and their eventual separation in 1982 was amicable, with little public drama or controversy. Selleck's dedication to his stepson Kevin continued even after the end of his marriage to Ray, highlighting his commitment to family. 
After his divorce, Selleck found love again with Jilly Joan Mack, an actress and dancer born in 1957. Their romance began under interesting circumstances. Selleck met Jilly while she was performing in the musical Cats in London. He was instantly smitten with her and they began dating soon after. The couple married on August 7, 1987 in a secretive and intimate ceremony in Lake Tahoe, Nevada. Their wedding was kept so private that even the minister officiating the ceremony did not know the identity of the couple until moments before the service. The marriage has stood the test of time, with Selleck and Mac maintaining a strong and enduring relationship for over three decades. A year after their wedding, Selleck and Mac welcomed their daughter, Hannah Margaret Selleck, born on December 16, 1988. Hannah grew up away from the public eye, thanks to her parents' conscious decision to keep her life as normal and private as possible. The couple focused on providing her with a stable, nurturing environment, despite the glitz and glamour of Hollywood surrounding them. Selleck and Mac's commitment to their daughter's upbringing was evident in their decision to move away from Los Angeles to a ranch in the more secluded Hidden Valley area. The Selleck family resides on a 60-acre avocado ranch in Hidden Valley, near Thousand Oaks West Lake Village, California. Interestingly, the ranch was formerly owned by another Hollywood icon, Dean Martin. Selleck purchased the property in the late 80s, seeking a quieter, more grounded lifestyle for his family, far removed from the pressures of Hollywood. The choice to live on A was a significant step for Selleck, who has always expressed a love for nature and the outdoors. In a 2012 interview with People magazine, Selleck spoke about his life on the ranch, emphasizing how much he enjoys the physical work involved in maintaining the property. Tom Selleck enjoys working outdoors on his ranch, taking on tasks such as fixing roads and clearing brush. He prefers this kind of physical activity over going to the gym, finding it more satisfying than sitting on a stationary bike. Additionally, he notes that doing the work himself is more cost-effective than hiring someone else. Selleck's commitment to his family is further evidenced by the career choices he made after Magnum P.I. ended in 1988. Despite numerous offers and opportunities to continue working on other major projects, Selleck chose to step back from the high-paced life of a leading man in Hollywood to focus on his family. He consciously decided to prioritize his wife and daughter, which led him to take roles that would allow him to remain close to home. Selleck's decision to embrace a simpler, quieter life allowed him to maintain a healthy balance between his work and personal life. In later years, he managed to carve out a career that allowed for a better work-life balance. His role in the CBS police drama, Blue Bloods 2010 Until Present, where he plays NYPD Commissioner Frank Reagan, is a prime example of a role that enables him to work steadily without uprooting his family or spending long periods away from them. This show, with its filming schedule in New York City, has given him the flexibility to continue his career without compromising his values and commitments. Hannah Selleck has become a successful equestrian, a career path that reflects her father's love of the outdoors and active lifestyle. She began riding horses at a young age and soon developed a passion for it. By the time she was a teenager, she was competing in major equestrian events and gaining recognition in the sport. Over the years, she has participated in numerous prestigious competitions and has won several awards. Her commitment to equestrian sports led her to establish her own horse breeding and training business, Descanso Farm, in California. This endeavor has been supported by both of her parents, who have been proud of her achievements and her decision to pursue her passion outside the traditional realms of Hollywood fame. Tom Selleck and Jilly Mack's marriage has often been described as one of Hollywood's most enduring love stories. Their ability to maintain a low profile and avoid the common pitfalls of celebrity marriages has made them a unique example in the entertainment industry. Unlike many of their peers, Selleck and Mac have kept their relationship strong by focusing on what matters most to them, family, love, and a life well lived away from the spotlight. Their commitment to privacy and their down-to-earth approach to life have allowed them to enjoy a marriage that is still going strong after more than 35 years. Selleck has experienced both personal loss and legal challenges over the years, each significantly shaping his public persona. Personal Loss and Legal Issues 
One of the significant relationships in Tom Selleck's life was with fellow actor James Garner. Known for his iconic roles in shows like Maverick and The Rockford Files, Garner was a highly respected figure in Hollywood, and his influence on Selleck was profound. When Garner passed away in 2014, Selleck expressed deep sorrow, describing him as a mentor and a friend. Tom Selleck expressed that James Garner was a mentor and a friend to him and that he would miss him. Garner's role as a mentor to Selleck was less about overt instruction and more about setting an example of professionalism and integrity in the entertainment industry. Two years after James Garner's death, while preparing for the sixth season of Blue Bloods, Tom Selleck reflected on his relationship with Garner. He acknowledged that Garner never wanted to be seen as his mentor. And similarly, Selleck himself does not readily accept the mentor role. However, he finds it flattering that others view him in that way, even though it comes with a certain amount of pressure. This sentiment reveals Selleck's humility and his understanding of the weight that comes with being seen as a role model. Despite being in the industry for decades, he remains humble about his status and influence, much like his late friend Garner. Garner's mentorship was pivotal in shaping Selleck's career approach, emphasizing the importance of hard work, kindness, and professionalism, all traits that Selleck himself would later embody and pass on to others. In 2015, Selleck faced legal issues when he was sued by the Caleguas Municipal Water District in Ventura County, California. The lawsuit alleged that Selleck had improperly transferred approximately 1.4 million gallons of water from the Caleguas Municipal Water District to his Hidden Valley Municipal Water District during one of California's most severe droughts on record. This water was reportedly used to irrigate his 60-acre avocado farm located in Hidden Valley near Thousand Oaks, Westlake Village. California's drought, which spanned several years, led to mandatory water restrictions for residents and agricultural operations alike. In a time of heightened sensitivity around water use, the allegation against a public figure like Selleck attracted considerable media attention. According to reports, a private investigator hired by the Caleguas Municipal Water District observed tanker trucks allegedly hauling water from a hydrant in the Caleguas District to Selleck's ranch. The district sought reimbursement not for the water itself, which was legally acquired, but for the costs associated with hiring the private investigator to confirm that the water was indeed going to Selleck's property. The lawsuit was settled out of court in July 2015. Selleck agreed to pay $21,285.05 to the Caleguas Municipal Water District, covering the district's private investigator fees. The settlement did not constitute an admission of guilt by Selleck, and no additional fines or penalties were levied against him. By resolving the matter in this way, Selleck managed to put the controversy behind him relatively quietly. While Selleck has been known for his on-screen charm and rugged good looks, his off-screen life reveals a man who values mentorship, respects his peers, and is willing to confront and resolve legal challenges. His statements about Garner show his deep respect and awareness of the impact that senior actors have on the next generation. Tom Selleck has faced significant health challenges in recent years. Health Challenges At 78 years old, Selleck has reportedly been battling a severe medical condition that has affected his ability to perform even basic tasks on set without assistance. According to a report from RadarOnline.com, Thomas Selleck is suffering from debilitating pain that has made it increasingly difficult for him to perform routine scenes such as getting in and out of his police car without the help of a stunt double. This is quite notable considering that stunt doubles are usually reserved for more physically demanding or dangerous scenes. The primary health issue that Tom Selleck is reportedly dealing with is arthritis, a chronic condition that causes inflammation and pain in the joints. Arthritis is a common ailment, especially as people age, and can lead to significant discomfort and mobility issues. According to a source who spoke to RadarOnline.com, Selleck's arthritis has progressed to a point where it causes him pain so severe that it impacts his day-to-day -day life and work. Despite the pain, Selleck has continued to work on the set of Blue Bloods where he portrays NYPD Commissioner Frank Reagan, a role that he has held since the series began in 2010. The report suggests that while Selleck is still committed to his work, the constant torment of arthritis has been a daily struggle. Arthritis is a condition that is not only painful but also progressive, meaning it can worsen over time. 
For someone in Selleck's line of work where movement, physical presence, and the ability to perform are crucial, this condition presents a significant challenge. In response to his health issues, Selleck has increasingly relied on a stunt double to handle scenes that would normally not require one. This change has been necessary to accommodate his physical limitations due to arthritis. The use of a stunt double for standard scenes such as getting out of a car illustrates the severity of Selleck's condition. While stunt doubles are typically used for more dangerous stunts or when special skills are required, it is uncommon for them to be used for such routine movements. This shift indicates that even the simplest actions can be extremely painful and difficult for Selleck, underscoring the extent of his arthritis. Despite the pain, Selleck has continued to show up for work, demonstrating a remarkable level of dedication and professionalism. His perseverance in facing his health challenges has been praised by those close to him. A source noted, Tom's in a lot of pain and agony, yet he continues to work despite the discomfort. The source also mentioned that Selleck has sought medical advice and has been learning techniques to help manage the pain associated with arthritis. These techniques could include physical therapy, medication, and lifestyle adjustments aimed at reducing inflammation and improving joint function. However, arthritis is a chronic disease with no known cure. While treatment can help alleviate some of the pain and slow the progression, the condition itself is permanent. However, according to the same authority, it is a sickness that is not going to disappear anytime soon. It is a challenge for him, but he is working hard to adapt to it. By making this statement, Selleck demonstrates his tenacity and determination to adjust to the shifting physical capabilities he possesses while also continuing to pursue his job. Considering the nature of Tom Selleck's job, the health problems that he is experiencing are especially poignant. Having established himself as a rugged and athletic actor, Selleck is best recognized for his portrayal of tough and action-oriented characters, such as Thomas Magnum in the television series Magnum P.I. It was necessary for him to have a high level of physical endurance and stamina in order to have jobs that frequently entailed physical stunts, chase scenes, and action-packed sequences. Even on Blue Bloods, where his character engages in less strenuous physical activity, Selleck's screen presence has always been characterized by a sense of power and capability. It is amazing to see the contrast between his past career, which was full of action and dynamic physical roles, and his current predicament, in which he requires assistance for moves that are more straightforward. It exemplifies the influence that age and health concerns can have, even on individuals who have been identified for a long time with energy and sturdiness. You should click the next video that appears on your screen, as well as like and subscribe to this video if you found it entertaining.